Hi, I'm Dr. Dipali Grandmakur from Max Healthcare, Panchi Park. I'll be talking about blue light and its impact on the eyes. Now, this blue light has become a common topic of conversation, especially since the COVID times, with many of us using anti-blue light glasses. What is this blue light? This blue light is a short wavelength light as opposed to the red light, which is a long wavelength light. You'd be surprised to know that the major source of blue light is nothing but our own sun. But there are other sources like LED lamps, like our smartphones, like the computer, the smart tablet. All of these are blue light emitters. But why is it that we blame the screens for blue light and why are we concerned about it? Because of the continuous exposure, the duration that is, and along with it, the proximity to the screens, which is for very long. This blue light is not only uh, bad for us, it also regulates certain things like the circadian rhythm, which is the day and night difference in our bodies. But this very blue light can be harmful during night times when we actually cause this to disrupt the circadian rhythm. This blue light is known to affect children more than adults and over a long time can cause sore eyes, tired eyes and also disrupt our sleep patterns. Blue light is known to reach the retina and cause retinal damage and accelerated progression of age-related macular degeneration. But this doesn't occur overnight, it occurs over a long time. So how do we protect ourselves? Most important is to limit our screen time. Second is to take adequate breaks because breaks is when your eyes rest and recover. Third thing is to use anti-blue light glasses which are nothing but yellow tinted glasses or anti-glare glasses. And fourth, don't snuggle into your bed and read see those phones or those tablets at night time because night time blue light effect is much worse than what occurs in the day. So stay protected and take care of your eyes. Thank you.